Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? I don't have a vase, do I? This is for Jimbo Moss. Moss. Man visits Stonehenge like the story came as a map. Man visits Stonehenge like the story commences. Craig was driving through England and he looked to the side and he was like, oh, look at that. That looks like Stonehenge. And then he looked and there's a sign saying Stonehenge this way. He's like, is that actual Stonehenge? So he went and he started going up to it and they had some fucking stupid fucking fence near it. You kind of go, you know, like climb on it and that's some stupid, some stupid fucking thing because somebody had brought, yeah, somebody had done a thing and then they had to bring this thing in and ridiculous. So he went like that. Uh, there's a security guy there and he thought, I'm not going to get past this security guy. I can forget it. I suppose I better go in and get on with the rest of my day. Fortunately, this was the security guy. Lamb never looked so good. It's time for meat and 2.0. Look for the logo. Don't make it unfunny. So he managed to get past. Now, fortunately, um, even though Craig hadn't planned this, he had a bomb on him and blew up Stonehenge, blew it right back to the fucking Stone Age, funnily enough. Blew it back to the fucking Stone Age. And he was about to blow himself up because he just heard that's what you do. If you blow something up, you blow yourself up and all. You forgot you might blow yourself up at the same time as the thing had blown up. Um, they managed to, they, they huckled him to the ground and put him in jail. And he got an interview with somebody who visited him like that. I just want to start off with one question. And it'll probably be the last question and the middle question and everything in between. Why? Why? And Craig went like that. Because I'm here now. Do you know what I mean? I'm here now. That was then. And this is new. And this is new. And I'm here now. And I'm fucking sick to death. I'm making space. For every cunt else. I'm sick of having to get out the way and being on the phone to fucking any cunt going, ah, oh, right, ah, oh, that's no bother. I saw about that. I'm sick of putting fucking exclamation marks in emails to make sure I don't sound moody or grumpy. I'm sick here. Nobody else seems to give a fuck. I'm here now. And I'm here without apology. And that had to go because I'm here now. I'm loud. I'm proud. And I'm here. And they said, are you a terrorist? What's your cause? And he went like, what's my cause? C 
Because I said so. That's my cause. Cause I said so. Cause I don't give a fuck. Cause I'm all about me. Cause? What's my cause? Cause. That's my cause. 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 That's my cause. That's my cause. And that's my cause. Cause. The end. And that's a true story. I don't know how I know. Because I actually did something like that in Millport. We drove around to the other side of the island one night and there was a big rock. Something had probably been sitting there for about a million fucking years. Big boulder thing. And I went, man, let's push it. Let's roll it off. I was a teenager at the time. Because I just thought, Without really thinking about it a lot, I just thought, we're here now. We're as much a part of nature as that fucking rock is. We're as much a part of the fucking universe as that fucking boulder is. That boulder shaped that way because it sort of got worn away with this and that that was maybe under the fucking water a billion fucking years ago or something like that and something maybe hit into it and the wind sort of like, you know, doing that. Right, I'm another force of fucking nature. I wouldn't do it these days though. I would think it for a, for a laugh but I wouldn't actually do it. Definitely would have chopped in that famous tree and he's just fucking definitely. Absolutely. See when that, that uh, whatever it was, teenager or whatever, cut down that tree, I don't know why they did it. I mean, I know why I would do it, but I don't know why they did it. Um, and people like that, why? Why? Why would you do that? I was thinking, what are you fucking on about? It's like the fucking, it's like people are separating into two groups. The people who get, get it and the people who don't. It was two guys in their 30s. It was a 38-year-old. Right, that's maybe a wee bit old. That's maybe a wee bit old for that. I think the teenager turned out to no be the one. Oh, really? Why did they do it? Was it for... Um, was it just for, for sort of vandalism? Or... In a sense, or did they have, did they have some, was it for some stupid fucking, an actual serious reason? Or was it just for a laugh? Right, right. Anger with the National Trust, people say. Nah, I don't know. But it's definitely something I would have done as a teenager. I wouldn't have done that though, I wouldn't have been able to fucking chop a hang down, but um, definitely when I was about 16, 17, at my most bitter. I would have enjoyed doing that. 